congratulations on winning the award. Um, what does this mean for you guys? Oh, you know, winning awards when you're a filmmaker is a big deal always and um, helps you build momentum for the film and, and encourage people to see it. And, you know, there's a lot of feature documentaries being made now and so it's important to... Uh, well, it's, it's an honour to be recognised and um, hopefully it'll mean more people will see the film. Um, I mean, not, not only is it an honour, but how do you feel it sh um, sheds light on the, the, the event that you guys followed? I mean, we set out to make this film. The whole reason we wanted to make it was to shine a light where it hadn't been shone before in this case. It was um, the enormous role that the Sherpa people play in, in the Everest industry, which is taking foreigners to the summit of Everest and importantly, back down safely. And, and in my experience of having worked on those expeditions, you know, they, they very rarely make the final cut of these films and um, the present example of the Everest movie that's playing also doesn't really show much about the Sherpa people and, and having known a lot of them, I know that that really disappoints them. And, um, and so we set out to make a film from their perspective um, and it just so happened that we were there in, in you know, and in front of our cameras unfolded the worst disaster in, in the history of the mountain. We never ever imagined what would happen. What did happen could have happened and it meant just making a... We just couldn't continue with the film we were going to make and instead have to make a very different film as basically in, a, in the emotion and the aftershock of this terrible disaster, this fault line appeared between the sort of climbers and the Sherpas and we just followed that story and it meant we suddenly, it was a film we hadn't expected to make, but it was more powerful and it was totally real. Yeah. You know, this was Everest for real. I mean, when it comes to documentaries, the story and the focus sometimes changes like that. But um, I mean, what you guys ended up capturing was absolutely amazing. Um, so are you guys planning to take this film to any other festivals or um, where, are you pla where are you planning to take it? So we've already, um, we uh, premiered in North America at the Telluride Film Festival, which was um, a wonderful experience and went to Toronto. Um, now this is our European premiere. We've also premiered in Sydney, which is my hometown. Um, we're going to show the film at the Kathmandu Film Festival um, for the Sherpas, but they have already seen the film in a, a private screening that we did for them. And, um, and we have a number, I think we're going to New York and... Um, Los and Angeles and London, and then it will be seen on global TV next year on Discovery. Um, yeah, so Discovery Channel have acquired the international broadcast rights, so a lot of people get to see the film eventually. Oh, amazing. I was going to ask the last question. Um, what does this mean for your careers? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, yeah. Look, I just hope a lot of people see the film, and um, obviously I hope to keep making films. And um, But this film, uh, especially, I think, for the Sherpa people is... You know, we, we set out to shine a light there and hopefully with awards like this we can um, just increase understanding about what it is that they do um, and, and, you know, recognise the enormous contribution that they make to this uh, industry that is largely dominated by Western voices.